Hey there, Virgos. And welcome back for a general love reading. This is a general love reading for all of the beautiful, amazing Virgos of the world. I hope this video finds you guys doing absolutely amazing Virgos. I hope you are co-creating your, your reality. I hope you are making it do what it do. So this is a general, general reading, love reading, whatever comes out is what it is. We're going to start off with the romance oracle cards here. It is a general. If it resonates with you, Virgos, I invite you to please, 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 please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. So what's going on for Virgos? Who you got religious factors and unrequited love. Oof. In the reverse and free yourself. Pay attention to the red flags. Wow. So I feel like you got warnings all around you about your life, about a situation here. Religious factors here. It could represent something that you don't believe, something that you need to tap into. You, you may, it's almost like you may be missing something as you're not seeing something clearly. It's almost like being caught up in the web. I, I see like somebody's caught up in the web. That's why I say free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Get out of your head. It may be based on your, your beliefs, your spiritual beliefs. It may not be, it may not be real. You got unrequited love is in the reverse. So it could be somebody, I feel like somebody's full of illusions. Somebody is full of illusions. They're not seeing something because they're not paying attention to the red flags. But it's almost like an innocent, naive child touching, touching the flame because it fascinates them. And you could keep on saying, don't touch that. That's hot, 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 hot. Don't touch that. Virgo, don't touch that. And they're like, hmm, what can you tell me? And they touch it and they get burned. And then they start running, saying some hot, hot, hot. You're like, yep, yeah, that's what I was telling you. <laughs> You got to learn the hard way. You got to learn. Somebody got to learn something because they're not paying attention to the red flags. They need to free themselves because I feel like you're going to miss an opportunity here. Now, this could be representing you or whoever you're dealing with. Free yourself. There it is. Somebody's freeing themselves. Eight of swords in reverse. Ten of pentacles. Abundance. Luxury. Generational wealth. Knight of Cups, but somebody may not be putting the efforts in like they should. Somebody may, somebody may not be doing what it takes to get it, though, because they're going to fool in the reverse. Followed by the Knight of Wands. Shit, followed by the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And you got the Four of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Somebody may be in love, and they, they're not feeling their best. See? Nine of Pentacles, and somebody may be selfish here. You could be dealing with them and spirit could be telling them, run, run, run. And they like, I just love Virgo. I just love them. <laughs> and spirit say, no, no, no. They don't, they don't want what you want. Oh, snap. Poor queen of cups, unless that queen of cups is you. I feel like, are you in love? They go the truth. The truth is right there. The ace of swords walking away somebody gonna walk away from something or maybe somebody's already walked away and somebody's still holding on they're not believing that it's really over and it really is like i say with the knight of wands and the knight of pentacles it's almost like somebody been slow to to commit anyway somebody could be all about their their finances their career or something like that all about the fun it could be somebody in and somebody ain't somebody in love. And I feel like they ain't seeing everything like they should see it. I feel like somebody in love with you and maybe they need to free themselves or maybe you need because you got unrequited love. If that ain't unrequited, unrequited and quieted. <laughs> oh, snap. So what's going on for Virgos with this uh, eight of swords? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You got the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups in the reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You got the Fool, the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, and you got 
the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse towards Virgo or Capricorn. I feel like somebody ain't looking for what the other person is looking for. Somebody could be so self-seated, so conceited and all about themselves, self, selves, and somebody just so in love and they're not even paying attention to the red flags here. Because I feel like Spirit's trying to tell somebody that this ain't your true love. It may be chemistry there, but it don't mean that that's your true love. Somebody may have gotten lust and love confused. I feel like somebody is in la-la land and they're not seeing everything clearly. Now, whether that's you, Virgo, or your person, why is the Eight of Swords in the reverse for Virgos? Clarify the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius free in yourself. Mental clarity, mental freedom. We saw the Ace of Swords. Somebody's going to eventually free themselves and break free from this, from the illusions. See, because they go to seven of cups in the reverse. See, I feel like, like I said, somebody was full of illusions. Somebody was in la-la land, god dang it. It's almost like they couldn't see no wrong, see? To a sword, they couldn't see it. But it was always there, though. See, somebody, somebody couldn't see the red flags because they had them rose color shades on. Eight of Swords in reverse for Virgos. Why is this here? Judgment. Mm. That's what Spirit is telling somebody. I need you to go back and look at this again. Look at this. You need to look at relook at this because you're not seeing something correctly here. Because I feel like you may have been dealing with a Libra or one sided unrequited love, one sided situation here. Either they, either Spirit is telling you, letting your person know this, or Spirit is letting you know that you need to look at this differently. Um, are you are you bringing confusion? See, they go to five of wands in the reverse. I feel like somebody all about they self. Why is this four of cups in the reverse for Virgo? What is this about? Missing an opportunity, not wanting to miss an opportunity, feeling rejected, scared they're gonna get their feelings. I feel like somebody in love. What's up with this four of cups in the reverse? Waiting for the right one. See, it ain't going to happen. They go to Hierophant in the reverse. See, I feel like somebody's trying to move on. Could be a cancer. Or maybe they're saying you moved on. Somebody moved on, but they ain't get it. I feel like somebody was thinking way much more of this connection than it really is. I feel like spirit has been showing somebody, this is not for you. You know, you know what it's doing. It's, it's not, you're not getting good. You're not getting good results out of this. They're not offering you nothing. They in and they out. They ain't looking for nothing serious. They seem like they're all into themselves. Every time you look around, they on their phone doing pictures and stuff. <laughs> they all, they just want to talk about them, them, them. See that the truth has been there the whole time about this person. See, Spirit could be trying to show you that this person is not invested into this. Maybe it's time to walk away from something. Now, either Spirit is telling you or Spirit is telling this person you're dealing with. Ace of Swords. What's up with this Four of Cups in the reverse for Virgo? Could be dealing with the Taurus. Cancer. That's why I got free yourself here. Somebody need to free they self. See, but I feel like they're because nine of cups in the reverse. But somebody here may be kind of like a conceited person here. See, that's what I'm getting. Somebody is smug. Somebody is into themselves a lot. And it could also represent somebody breaking free and just realizing that they just didn't get what they wanted. Somebody may have wanted more. I see a lot of water energy in here. Could be dealing with the water sign. What's up with this Queen of Cups for Virgo? Or, or is this you? You in love? Why is the Queen of Cups here for Virgo? What's up with this Queen of Cups? Why is the Queen of Cups here for Virgo? Virgos? Three of Wands. Planning. Foresight, thinking, the tower, oof. Something came down with this queen of cups. Is it you? You found out what? Waiting, you leave, it. this person's waiting. Because the three of wands also represents waiting. 
waiting on your shifts to come in, waiting to, waiting, waiting to fall in love, waiting for somebody, waiting for somebody to change. Okay. Because once again, somebody was not seeing it for what it was, two of swords. <sighs> See? And there go the five of... Okay, so that was the five of wands or the five of swords. And they go to five of wands and they go to three of swords. I feel like somebody may have been entertaining other people. Somebody going to have to put an end to this. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. Why? Hold on. Sorry about that. Could have been a third party situation here too. Where somebody needs to figure out what they wanted. Especially with this knight of wands in the reverse. What's up with this knight of wands in the reverse? Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Why is this Knight of Wands in the reverse here for Virgos? Knight of Swords. Mm. I feel like this person here, it could have been some type of confrontation. See? I feel like we're, somebody rushes in for what they want, but anything else, they're going to take their time with it. Because you got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. But somebody wasn't seeing the truth or they were not wanting to see it. Ace of Swords in the reverse. See, somebody thought that this was their true love, but it wasn't. It was a karmic relationship, a, a, a lesson mate. Somebody may have fallen in love with their karmic lesson mates. Two of Pentacles. See, Seven of Pentacles. Spirit is saying this ain't going nowhere. What's up with the fool in the reverse for Virgos? What is this fool in the reverse? Somebody's not going to make any necessary uh, risk. They're not going out on no limb. They ain't going out their way. If it ain't going in their direction, you can't get no ride. <laughs> they was like, no, nah, I thought you said you were going this way. That's the only reason why I picked you up. And I got dang it. If you want me to make a left or a right, you're going to have to get out right here. I ain't going out my way. I don't care if you do got gas money. <laughs> <sighs> the fool in the reverse for Virgos. What's this about? Could be dealing with the Aries. See, nine of wands. Somebody is blocking. Somebody is heavily guarded. See? And they go the fool in the reverse. See, that's what I thought. And they go that queen of cups in the reverse. See? That same queen of cups now. Somebody's having a hard time letting go. Or it could be somebody saying that they're blocking this love. They don't want this. They don't want this. Somebody, it's almost like somebody said that they don't want this. See, they ain't trying to go the distance. They go to Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. See, it's almost like somebody fell in love. Somebody may come off as cold. It could be looking at you like you are cold. And I already know that's bad. Cold and detached, the king of swords, queen of cups, I already know. And I feel like they're looking at you as the nine of pentacles, like you don't want what they want, or maybe it's vice versa. Nine of pentacles in the reverse for Virgos. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Cancer, Taurus. Why is the knight of pentacles in the reverse for Virgos? See, three of swords, see? Somebody heartbroken because they realize that um, somebody's not giving them what they want or they're not going to get a relationship or somebody's not going to offer something real because they don't want to settle down. Somebody could have been given somewhere else and they go to eight of wands in the reverse. I feel like whoever the person is that was not paying attention to red flags, they need to free themselves. Now, whether that's you or whether that's them, but somebody still ain't let go. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Cups for Virgos. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Mm. So either Spirit is telling your person you're dealing with Virgo that they need to free themselves and move on because you don't want this. Or Spirit is telling you to free yourself. Take out them roll color shades and look at things for what they really are. Free yourself. Somebody may need to start loving themselves too because I saw the Empress. The Seven of Pentacles. I feel like somebody waiting. God dang it. They say, I ain't gone nowhere. God dang it. Once again, they go to Five of Swords. You got the Five, Five, Five. Somebody ain't moving on. Mind game. So somebody is exhausted. But see, here they come down. Now they going to come around now. But look what they coming around in. 
Somebody want to be off of love, but somebody ain't don't want the love. They want the fun and the passion because somebody is focused on their independence. You're going to end up walking away or they're going to end up walking away from this anyway. They're going to walk away from it. Somebody walking away, whether it's you or them, see, because this relationship is bringing somebody down. Or they may look at like it's too much. You, you guard it. You're too guarded for them. You, this Queen of Cups can't get to you. Ten of Pentacles for Virgos. What's up with the Ten of Pentacles? What's up with this Ten of Pentacles for Virgos? This is a marriage. This is long term. This is boss energy. This is abundance. Could be somebody here thought, thought, thought that maybe they looked at you and said that you had money. You know that y'all could hook up. But the four of ones, it ain't going to happen though. Because, see, somebody feels like they're one woman or one man show. Here's what I feel like. It's like we can hang out sometime, but, I mean, God damn, you trying to move in? I mean, I didn't want to move in just yet. I just thought we was just going to hang out, but you getting all, you falling all in love and stuff. You knew what time this was anyway. <laughs> you see how I roll, see? They go to emperor in the reverse. Somebody's giving off as some type of narcissist here, Virgo. Now, whether that's you or whether that's them, but I feel like somebody was dealing with a narcissist and spirit is telling you to free yourself. All right, Virgo, this your reading. If it resonates, please like, share and subscribe.